there's some fun debates causing a stir on social media, so that must mean it's time for The Internet's Divided. Here to tell us what everyone's talking about is today digital editorial director Ariana Davis. Hi, so nice guys. Hey, you. girl, what you I'm got excited. today? I like talking about what's getting the internet all a buzz. Okay. okay. So, what's up first? Up first, do you guys watch Love is Blind on Netflix? I've seen it. Okay, yes. so you're not familiar? It's, it's, <laughs> I'm not familiar. familiar. So it's a dating show on Netflix where the, basically <laughs> the participants date each other through yes. a wall in yes. the pods. But the whole concept is like, is love truly blind? Yes. Mm -hmm. This season, on season six, there's a contestant named Jess, and she basically went into this experiment saying I'm not going to say up front that I have a 10 year old daughter she mm. feels like it's not something that she needs to lead with she ends up getting serious with this guy named Jimmy and as they go as they progress she says hey I have a 10 year old daughter it was kind of a big like a, a big make or break deal for him so now everyone is talking about the fact of should you have to disclose if you're a mom and you're dating or a parent and you're dating the fact that you have kids or is it okay to wait until you feel comfortable I, I'm curious what you guys think I mean I don't think it's like have to disclose I think it's part of you I I think once you're presenting yourself, yes. it's like, who are you? Like, yeah. I mean, I am. I wear many hats. One of them is a mother. Right. I wouldn't hide that part just yeah. to see if will he like me with that. This is all part of me. Right. I'm a this. I'm a journalist. I'm a mother. Yeah. I, you know, it's like all these things I think matter. And I think if you bring if you bring yourself to someone, only <laughs> part of who you are, you're not showing the no, full month. Huge it. part. Yeah. yeah. Huge right. part. Right. That's yeah. everything. I don't. I don't think this is even like. Yeah. Is, is the internet really divided <laughs> the internet on this? Divided, so really? Divided. 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 69% of our uh, uh, people who voted in our today.com poll said yes. that they believe that you shut up front, okay. but there were 30% who That's said maybe 40. you don't have to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's so fundamental, I right? Guess, and I, I'm trying to imagine the 38% is probably like, look, I just want to also mm. be a woman. Yes. yes. And I want to not right. be seen yes. through that lens. Right. So let me just be that for a while before I bring in the rest of yeah. myself. Yeah. She went into a very thoughtful, yeah. but okay. she was a good cool. representation of single moms in the show. Love it, yeah. love it. Yes. Good. Okay, so next, the internet is divided over how to divvy up household chores. So this man is going viral on Reddit. He posted about how him and his girlfriend agreed that they're going to just divide up chores 50-50, right? Like most households hopefully do. But in order to achieve his 50% of the chores, he hired a professional cleaner <laughs> to get his pro, portion. This is a pro move, okay? Uh, so that's kind of the, the debate. It's like, is this a genius hack? Like, did he kind of crack a code here? Yes. Or is it? does it come down to, at the end of the day, you really just are supposed to be helping each other out? It's about partnership. So I don't know if they're married or not, but I feel like that might make a difference. They're in a relationship. They just, okay. they just I think they've been living together for about six months, according to his post. Yeah. I mean, to me, it sounds like you're trying to like so that we share in this stuff. So mm. if his his F6 button is, I'm going to hire someone to do it for me. Like, I'm not going to do that. Yes. And plus, I mean, you, a household cleaner to only do half the chores. I mean, if someone's going to yes. do it, you might as well do the whole thing. But I think the idea yeah. is like, we want to do it together. It's like saying, let's do an art project. Okay, I'm going to have an artist do mine. It's like, no. <laughs> That's a we're, point. we're trying to be yeah. together But here. if you want it done well, and this is then, just the devil's happen. advocate. Then hire someone for both. Don't just hire yes. for your half. That's why I asked if they were married. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if they're married, yeah. then and she's like paying for it too. Right. So she's not yeah. paying right. for the cleaner yeah. that she thought yeah. he was doing? Yeah, just have someone come and yes. do the whole thing. So okay. what's the internet say? What are they helping? Sixty nine percent of people were like, dude, no. This is a yes. hard no. no. Like, no. Thank we, you. Hard like no. this is yeah. like we yeah. gotta help yes. each other out here. Okay. Yes. 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 We are with your internet. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. What's so the finally the internet is divided about uh, wedding fees for your guests. So this engaged <laughs> couple, their wedding invitation is making the rounds online because in the invitation they said in lieu of gifts, they are asking their uh, wedding guests to basically pay for their meal. So if you're an adult, you would pay $40. And if you're a child under the age of 12, you pay $20. And so again, it's in lieu of gifts. This is like on the invitation. So this has people fired Does it say up. you're paying a fee? It's basically you're paying a fee, but it's also you're not giving a gift. So that's where people are kind of it's split. Like a, They're a, like a cover at the door. Exactly. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a cover for this event of the wedding. So some people are like, listen, if you can't afford a wedding, maybe yes. you shouldn't have if one. Weddings are expensive. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And weddings are very expensive. But the, on the flip side, people are like, well, they said in lieu of gifts. So instead of giving, you know, several hundred dollars, you just pay for your meal and then that's it. I so. think you just say we really want to have a party. Yeah. We want everyone to come, but we yes. really, I mean, we have to say it's kind of pricey. We don't even want a present. We just want us. Yes. We want all of you together. Yes. Y'all, you know, mind instead of giving us a gift, kick in 20 bucks, 40 when bucks. You put $40 on the buffet. <laughs> 
feels like we're at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> yes, it yeah. Just, it yeah. doesn't if feel like make, the wedding, yes. If you right? make it seem like it's a cost for yes. the food, then it sounds different. But if right. you're like, help us celebrate. Yes. Yeah, it's a cover charge. Maybe there's a way. <laughs> yeah. All right, what did the poll say? A whopping 96% of today.com readers were like, absolutely not. I am not Wait, paying this fee. Wait, what? Yeah, it was, I want to know about that 4%. That's <laughs> us, right? Didn't we say? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're the 4%. Oh, just like, we'll just throw a party. It's fine. Have a party. <laughs> All right, that was good. All yeah, great fun. topics. Thank Thanks. you so much. If you want to weigh in on these viral debates and more, just head to today.com slash poll. Oh.